Building a conversion-focused header for your website can often be a challenge if you have a lot of content, products, or different services that you offer. And we've tried to take out all of the challenges and hard work with Thrive Theme Builder. And built into our tool, we have a custom menu feature. We've had this in Thrive Architect for some time, but we now have it in Thrive Theme Builder. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a mega menu modeling the site Smart Passive Income so you can build an incredible header to showcase all of your awesome products, content, or everything else. So let's get into it. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another tutorial video and this one we're gonna get right into it. So this is going to be a step-by-step, -step, little nitty gritty, we're not gonna you know, try to edit too much out. I really wanna show you step-by-step. -step. So let's take a look at the screen here and what we're gonna be doing is recreating the certain drop-down menu that is on smartpassiveincome.com. We're not gonna rebuild the entire thing but just underneath this learn section. So let's break this down real quick in why we're actually gonna recreate this one and so you can model this and do it for your own website. The main things I want us to focus on is his site's been around for maybe a decade or so, maybe longer, but he has a lot of different avenues he's gone into. So affiliate marketing, publishing, marketing, business development, email marketing, you see the picture here, lots of different topics. And when you have a lot of either content or it could be products or services you offer, you wanna make sure you can still showcase all those different services, but you have to make sure it's organized. That's what having a conversion focused header is all about. And what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna break this down. So you got these eight here, and I'm gonna show you how you can literally recreate this exact same thing using Thrive Theme Builder. Let's get started here by taking a look at this homepage we have here. So I built this homepage using Thrive Theme Builder. This is actually our personal branding template we have built into the product. And if you are not sure how we got here and you are brand new to Thrive Themes, go to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder to learn more about the product and how we got here. So in order to get started here, the first step is we need to edit the header. And in order to do that, I'm going to select the header here and right here we have the option on the left-hand panel to edit header. Once I'm in the editing header, we can add elements, remove elements. I've already taken the liberty of taking the original menu out in the navigation, and I'm just going to add a new one in here. So if I just go to add an element, I'm going to search for custom menu and drag it right here. Here is where we can build the mega menu like Pat Flynn has on smartpassiveincome.com. So he has the simple mega menu. This is our version of a mega menu. And you could, if, you, if you're doing this on an existing site, you may want to inherit from your WordPress menus back in your admin, but we're just gonna build it from scratch. And we have dozens and dozens of templates to choose from, whether you want uh, background colors, we even have ones that are transparent, grayed out, even images here, choice is yours. For this, I'm gonna keep it simple and go with a very basic color option here. Once we have it loaded up here, we need to start by kind of going down what's happening here and organizing it. And I wanna just walk you through the breadcrumbs first. And what we have is the simple mega menu here in the header. So you have the header, obviously, simple mega menu. In the simple mega menu breadcrumb item here, so in this whole element, this is where we're going to choose the template, the menu source, then you also have the spacing, so vertically how it sits in the header, also how it sits, the spacing between each of the navigation. So nav one, nav two, nav three, et cetera. And we also have what kind. So you can have the drop down icon be a carrot, triangle, chevron, or an angle. And also the animation, does it fold out? Does it fade in? Or is it just an instant transition? So for this, we'll just make it instant. This is what he has here. So it just fades in right away. And what we have here, we can also change and move around where the menu items go. Now on his site, you can see here on Pat Flynn's site, he has two columns and four rows across. This is where we're gonna change that. I'm not gonna change that just yet, but just so you know, this is where you can move, delete, or add different menu items. The next level in here is going to be the menu items themselves. So this is going to be the top level items. You can change the font of these, the type of them, and by default, everything here is gonna be set to group editing. So if I change the, I don't know, let's say the font size of here, watch it change. So the font size is going to change for all these different items. I'm just gonna undo that here, pull it back to what it was. 14 is fine, I don't remember. And that's where you're gonna do that. And you can do the same with the colors or the boldness or anything else you wanna do with the typography here. Now let's go one more level in. This is the mega menu dropdown. And here you have the option to choose 
between a grid, which is what we are gonna use, or a masonry. Now, a masonry grid is, you're not gonna be able to really see the difference in this particular layout, but think of Pinterest. So Pinterest has a kind of that staggered view as you scroll down, or sometimes Instagram has this as well. This is what a masonry grid would look like. I wouldn't recommend that in an actual drop-down menu. That'd be pretty confusing and it'd be really hard to look at, to be honest. That's a very good thing to use though on a category page or anywhere else you wanna use the post list element, great place to use it. But mega menu, wouldn't recommend it. So we're gonna keep it at grid here and this is where we're gonna change this later. Next up is we're going to have the second level item. So this is gonna be one level down. This is gonna be more of the headings and what we're gonna use. This is a pretty important part. You can do the same thing. Change the fonts, the colors, the type font, all that stuff, whether it's centered or whatever, all that happens at this level. And the final level is going to be the third level items here. And these are also grouped by default, but you can change it. This could be different text. You could also make these different hat icons here, all kinds of stuff. And these are by default again, grouped. Let's go back to the beginning and I'm gonna start making the changes. So in order to do this here, I'm gonna go back to simple mega menu and we're going to start by getting this right. So like I said, it has two, what does he have? He has two columns, four rows. Let's do that for ours. Now I'm gonna do this here by deleting the items here. So I'm gonna go through here, delete, just hit the trash can, delete, delete, delete. And I'm gonna speed through and delete the rest of these items here. Now that I have those deleted, what I wanna do here is add in the other four. So here we have four left and I wanna add in four more. In order to do that, I just wanted to press the add new button and it's gonna automatically throw that item down below. So we need one, two, three, and four. And the best way for us to do this here is I want to, where we have the main here, I wanna just drag these up. And you're gonna see these white dots here to the left-hand side of it. And that means that you can drag it and move it. So we can drag it here. And you could also put it in the navigation. So watch, see how an item five just got thrown into the navigation. I'm gonna drag it back here and the same here. So pull it one and one more. And here is the eighth and final one. We have eight items in here now. And what I'm gonna do is go to reorganizing these so they are going to look the same as his. In order to do that, we have to drop down into the mega menu dropdown and change the layout. So the column needs to be set to two. And there we go. And this here, we're going to, I'm gonna adjust the spacing just a tad. So here we have a little too much horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing, I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit here and that will work. Okay, here we have is the basics of our dropdown menu. If we take a look back here, we have just what we need. We have two columns across and we have four rows going down. The next major step is going to be getting the sizing, the colors and changing all the text. In order to do that here, I'm gonna start by getting into this level here where we have the text here for which has main one and the icons. First, I'm gonna show you how to change the icon. And in order to do that here, you just want to be in this selection and under main options, you're gonna have the option here to either show or hide the icons. Since these are all grouped together, if I unlink this here, so just by pressing here, or you can do the same thing here, you're able to just show or hide the icon for this particular row right here where it has the main one. For this task here, if we look at Pat Flynn's site, all of his icons, and if him, he, his or might be images or icons, for us, we're gonna be using the Font Awesome library we have built in to Architect and Theme Builder, but you see how they're all different colors and different icons. I want us to do the exact same thing. So make sure it's unlinked. And then I'm going to change this here. I'm gonna change this here to a different icon. We'll just pick here. I'll pick this one, it's okay. Pick a random icon. And see how that one changed, but the rest of these don't change. And if I wanted to go through and change the font, I'm gonna to wanna to re-link these. So if I want the font size to stay consistent, I wanna make sure to re-link everything. But what I'm gonna do right now is go through and change the icons for the rest of these here, and then we'll meet back up to do the next step. I've gone through and changed all the icons to make them individual here. So we have just random icons. I don't use these ones when you're doing your own. I just use a bunch of random branded icons we have from Font Awesome. But the next step I wanna show you is the size, which is important. And right now these are just a bit small. So I wanna raise the size of these here. So we can do, now they're all regrouped again. I can go, that's, that's way too big. Let's do just 15 pixels. So we have 15 pixels for all of the icons. Let's actually do a little more. Let's go to 17 pixels. So now they're all 17 pixels here for the icons. 
and that didn't change the font size, just the icons here. And you notice too, one thing we have on his site is everything is a different color. And if we go back here, I could change them as they're linked together and change all the colors together. That looks like this. So here we have just the black color. And if I wanna make it blue, apply, all these just change to blue. But I don't want that. I want them to have individual colors. And in order to do that, we're gonna unlink them. So I'm gonna use this second one here as an example. If I just unlink this here, and I go to this here, I'm gonna just go to a different color by unlinking it here, unlink it there, and then I can make it anything I want. So we could just make it a, make it obvious, make it like a pink color here, there are changes. Relink it in, this is that way if we change the size of the icon, if we change the size of the font, it's going to all change in proportion to the rest of the items we have here. So that's one tip when you're doing this, I found myself messing up a little bit, was I forgot to regroup it. So make sure to regroup it and relink it together so that when you are making what, what I would consider more of a global change across this entire element, you're not getting things disproportionately sized or messing up the colors. What I'm gonna do next here is fly to the rest of these and change the color so they all have a unique color to them. Now that we have all of the colors changed here, we changed the size of the icons here, everything is relinked and regrouped back together. What we're gonna do now is go in and change the text. The text is really easy to change. We just double click it here and you can change the text to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go with blogging. That'll work here. And then this is not gonna change globally. So if you're editing the text, the text element itself is on a global level here. So let me go back and demonstrate. If I'm here and I'm in underneath the typography, I can change the font to, let's just go, I don't know, Arial. Oh, over there, over there, let's just do this, that'll be fine. So that font is going to take effect on across all of these here. Same thing if I do the transform, I can make it regular kind of capital first letter and lowercase for the rest of them. That's all gonna be global. Same things with the colors, but the actual text itself is not gonna get copied. And if we take a look here at Pat Flynn's site, he has just different typics here. So I'm gonna go through here and I just rename one. Again, you just double click it, we'll do SEO. I'm gonna go through and just rename these here. And then I'm gonna show you the final step to getting the mega menu to be just like his. Let's get into the final step when creating the mega menu. And that is going to be the descriptions. Now, if we take a look back over at the Smart Passive Income blog, he has these little blurbs underneath each of the headers. So he has affiliate marketing, a little blurb about it. Business development, another blurb. We can do the exact same thing within the custom menu element. And how we're gonna do this here is by going to one of the drop downs here. And I want to go back one level. The best way to navigate this is via the breadcrumbs. You wanna be on the mega menu item. So let's do the first one here. I go back to the drop down column and the only option under main options here is going to be show menu description. You wanna to toggle that on. And here's where we can add in the text. And to do it like any results in Architect, you're gonna just click here and I want to add learn, learn about blogging. That's it. Here's how we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna show you one more time. We're gonna click here and I wanna go again in the breadcrumbs, go back one level to the drop down column, and the only thing underneath main options is going to be show menu description. Then we're gonna do learn about SEO. Next, I'm gonna go through and make all these here, put a little blurb in the description following those steps, and then we're gonna meet right back up. Okay, so I finished up here doing all of the editing of the text here, adding in with the text that I wanted to have. And there you go. The next step would be to just make sure that you properly link these up by going back to your links and your menu items here, making sure that you want to link it to the a static link. It could also be a jump link and you could also have a dynamic link as well. And that's it. We have successfully gone through and modeled smartpassiveincome.com and their mega menu section. Next step is let's just take a look at this on the front end. With Thrive Theme Builder, we wanted to make all of the complicated web design and development tasks that normally take tons of time, money, and effort simple. And this is just one of the many features and options that you have 
when you're using Thrive Theme Builder. So if you're new here, make sure to go to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder or hit the link in the description to get your copy today. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content. We're gonna be releasing tons of tutorial stuff about Thrive Theme Builder, Thrive Architect, and many other topics. So make sure to stay tuned here, give this video a like, and last but not least, leave a comment below. I actually got this video topic idea from a previous video's comment section. So if you wanna see your ideas, if you want, if some questions about our products or tutorials you would like to see, leave a comment down below and let's have a chat down there. And until the next video, thanks for watching.